All right, so I'm gonna do something new. So I fat, saw a video from Nick on VCG construction. So the upcoming up video is going to be a walkthrough about some DeWalt flex volt, 20 volt, 60 volt batteries. Um, hopefully the information helps somebody. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned. All right, so I wanna do a video, give a little more information. Um, I noticed that VCG Construction, um, Nick had just posted a video about flex volt batteries and could they be harming a 20 volt tool? I wanna to give a little more information on why that is not possible and why it, it, it wouldn't be the flex volt battery engaging in 60 volt mode on a 20 volt tool and I will prop the camera up here and give you a look. So this is a 20 volt max tool. If you look at the bottom, it's completely flat all the way around. If you look at a regular 20 volt battery, there's no special prongs anywhere around here. And this is a four amp hour. If you look at a flex volt battery, there's actually two tangs ex added extra on these particular batteries. So there's one right here, and then there's one on this end right here. So um, let me get a flashlight and try to show it a little better. You see this tang right here, and there's one on this side right here. Those two tangs move in on a 60 volt tool, which then activates the full side of the full entire battery on its own. So if I attach this right here, there, that works better. Okay, so on this battery, there's just the prongs in the center. There's no added extra prongs. On this battery, there's these in the center and then these two on the outside. And then I'll show you on the actual tool itself. So this is a 20 volt tool. It's flat all the way around. There's no grooves or anything else. Now, if you look at a 60 volt tool, which this is a brushless 60 volt max grinder, flex volt grinder. If you look at the back of the grinder, there's an added tang right here. This is an added tang. So if I flip it around, you can see it's flat all the way down till it hits this tang. And this tang actually attaches to those two points on the 60 volt battery. These two plastic tangs actually put the battery in 60 volt mode. So if I move this battery and then I put the grinder here. So when you plug into a 60 volt tool, what happens is it actually attaches here for the main power points, these prongs right here. And then what it does is it, it actually pushes these two tangs right here into the battery, which activates the 60 volt side. So if you attach a 60 volt battery to a 20 volt tool, these two tangs are actually not a being engaged because a 20 volt tool doesn't have that U shape on the back with the two extra tangs. Say it's completely flat. And this is the, the DCD996 20 volt hammer drill. So you can see that it's completely flat for the hammer drill. Same with the DeWalt flex volt reset DCS388. If you actually look at it on the bottom, it has these two tangs still. 
So there, to answer VCG Construction's question on can the flex volt batteries be accidentally going into 60 volt mode and destroying 20 volt tools, what I would say is it's not possible because on a 60 volt tool, you could see from a side view, it's flat, then there's two tangs on both sides. These two tangs activate those two, this tang and this tang on this side. So you can see there's two tangs. When you slide these two together, the tool actually, 60 volt tools actually activate the 60 volt side of the battery. So no, I don't think it is possible. It doesn't make any sense that the 60 volt batteries would be destroying 20 volt tools because of the fact that when you add the battery on it, it's completely flat. So if you look at the back of the tool while it's attached to the battery, you see these, this tang right here and this tang on this side, they're not pushed in because on a 60 volt tool, there's an extra piece that covers this portion of the battery. It covers this section of the battery. So you can actually see the tangs on a 20 volt tool. Now, if you take this same six, 60 volt battery, and then you, see I'm gonna attach it to the grinder. So if you look at the back of the grinder, the back of the grinder actually has this thicker piece right here. So if you actually look at where the tangs are, you can see that the tangs are actually going in in that slot. And it actually presses, presses those two tangs in. So on a 60 volt tool, there's this extra section right here. It actually pushes those two tangs in and activates the 60 volt side. So I hope that that kind of helps. So if you're looking at 60 volt, it actually pushes those two metal tangs in, which is kind of hard to get this light to focus a little better. So yeah, on a 60 volt tool, it the actual back of the tool covers this whole black section of the battery and it pushes two tangs right here slides these pins in and it locks these pins in. And then if you, if I compare it on the 20 volt, again, the 20 volt locks in and you still see the pins. The pins are still open. So it's, it's a little different. Um, there's no possible way, in my opinion, that it would activate the 60 volt side because the 20 volt tool is completely flat on the back. The 60 volt tool is not flat on the back. It's actually got a raised section that makes it thicker. So hopefully VCG construction will be able to see that because I have two 60 volt tools here. They both have flat then tang section, and then flat. And then if I grab, you know, like my, my 20 volt max grease gun, it's completely flat. There's no extra tangs. So, and the grease gun is, is model number DCG G571. So hopefully this will answer the question as some people are having because if you look at two batteries side by side the 20 volt tools don't have the extra tangs right here only the 60 volts do so thank you for watching please like comment subscribe um and uh 
hit the bell notification icon if you'd like to see future videos. Hopefully, um, Vince or Nick on VCG Construction will be able to see this video. Um, hopefully, it will help them out because they're asking on why every time they put a 60 volt battery on a 20 volt max tool, that tool seems to die um, a lot quicker than normal tools or putting a normal battery on those tools. So, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, to give them some more updated information. Um, if they look at the batteries, they might realize that there's an actual feature that the batteries have to activate that function. And that function is only activated by the tongs or the tangs on the actual 60 volt tools. 20 volt tools don't have that tang. So, um, hopefully it will help somebody. I appreciate everybody watching. Please also check out my Amazon affiliate links. You know, it don't cost you anything. Amazon will give me a little cut of anything that you buy, and it helps me do videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.